Good day, church. Hope you're all doing well. And I know you've been blessed by these devotionals. I know I certainly have. May you continue to seek God more than ever before in this season. You know, today I want to share with you around uh, the armor of God. You know, every piece of armor is important. You know, we talk about the shoes of peace, the breastplate of righteousness. We talk about the shield of faith. But today I want to focus on the helmet. Ephesians 6, 17 says, Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You know, if you think about a soldier, a Roman soldier going into battle, the helmet was essential because if the head is not protected, then every other piece of armor is really of no use whatsoever. The head houses the brain, which is the command center for our entire bodies. You know, when God tells us to put on the helmet of salvation, it's a reminder that every single day when we put on that salvation, we've been saved. We are people that need to live in victory because God has already won the battle for us. The enemy loves to attack our thoughts. You know, in this season, people are more isolated than ever before. People are stuck in their thoughts more than ever before. We need to be watchful of exactly what we're thinking. We need to make sure that every thought is in alignment with the salvation of God. If it's not in alignment of the salvation of God, take captive of that thought and reject that thought completely. You have the power to reject every negative thought that comes to you. The enemy loves to put fear in us. You know, we all know that scripture that says that you've not been given a spirit of fear, but that of power, love, and a sound mind. I want to encourage you today that God has given you the helmet of salvation so you can live with a sound mind. Another scripture, which is in 1 Thessalonians 5, 8 says, But let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armor of faith and love, and wearing as our helmet the confidence of our salvation. As we put that helmet on a daily basis, let that give us confidence that we are saved. In every season, we are victorious. I want to pray for everyone who's watching this right now, that you have a clear headedness that you've never had before, that every thought that you have is in alignment with God's word. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this is the day that you've made and in it we shall rejoice. We rejoice because we know we are saved we rejoice because you've given us the power to take captive of every thought that is not in alignment with your word, in alignment with the salvation that you've given us. So right now, Holy Spirit, I pray for every person who's watching this. May they sense your peace. May they have such a clear headedness to hear your voice so clearly than ever before. Thank you, Lord, that you're taking captive of all fear, all insecurity, all doubt is gone right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for giving us the courage that comes from your salvation, the confidence that comes from knowing that we are saved, we are redeemed, and you've already won the battle and we are victorious. We give you all the glory and all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Be blessed.